The noise of excitement will soon fill up classrooms across Saskatchewan. Students return in two weeks. But noticeably silent is the government, which has yet to present a COVID-safe return to school plan. Meanwhile, voices from the medical community are getting louder, asking the government to act now before the Delta variant also enters schools this fall. This is serious. It's a different virus. You can't consider what protected you a year ago is going to protect you today. The Saskatchewan Medical Association is urging school divisions to mandate masks. The opposition also presented a plan. Like the Saskatchewan Teachers Federation, it wants all teachers and staff vaccinated. The NDP also wants COVID-19 vaccines made available to 11-year-olds, vaccine clinics in schools, and thresholds set for masking orders and remote learning. We need it depoliticized. We just need clear information out to school boards uh, to ensure that we're looking at, at the context, what the community spread is, vaccine uptake, all of those things, and that we've got a plan where the North Star, the number one must do, is to keep our kids stay safe. Yesterday, Premier Scott Moe acknowledged not everyone can get a COVID-19 vaccine. Kids under 12 are not eligible, although some provinces like Ontario are allowing anyone born in 2009 to get the jab. Moe says his government will release guidelines soon, but didn't give any other details. How do we ensure that, you know, as our kids head back to school this fall, those that are ineligible for vaccines ensure that we're providing the proper guidance for our school divisions and for our families in the province. Saskatchewan's test positivity rate is also climbing and is the highest in Canada. One infectious disease specialist says this is concerning, especially considering the Delta variant situation. There is more virus coming out. There are more young people getting sick. There are more children getting sick. And it's much, much more transmissible. What more do they need to do to help to protect their children? While parents sit and wait for a plan from the government, the calls for a safe September are getting louder. From teachers to doctors to the opposition, they say action needs to happen now, not next week. Mickey Judich, CBC News, Regina.